Right. I guess I, I first want to say something about why I'm involved in this. And uh, what I'd like uh, you in the school districts to know about is that I teach introductory biology here on, at Berkeley. And uh, one of the um, real uh, drawbacks about teaching introductory biology is that students have very little introduction to plants either in middle school or in their high school. And so as I'm sort of reaching the end of my career, one of the uh, objectives I have is to try and uh, get more uh, science teaching in plants into the middle and high schools with the idea also of most importantly getting the teachers to feel comfortable teaching the subject matter. So when uh, I was approached to sort of uh, become a participant in this project, that was sort of uh, uh, in the back of my mind. Now, the material that you've just been presented is with is a, is a plant known as a Arabidopsis thaliana, and it is sort of the uh, model system that plant biologists use in many working plant biology labs today. And one of the reasons why it is uh, the model plant and why it's very useful for the experiments that perhaps you've already heard about is that it's a plant which completes its life cycle in 30 to 40 days, so relatively fast for a plant. It's small. And so you can grow uh, a number of plants in that chamber that you've seen and have them complete their life cycle. That is putting a seed and then having the seed germinate, grow into a plant, make flowers, and then make seeds again. So it's uh, seed to seed. All of that can happen in that relatively small space. And for you who have students who are going to be exposed to molecular biology and to mutants, Arabidopsis has the great advantage that there are a lot of mutants available. And these availability, this availability makes it possible for students to design uh, an endless array of experiments and to choose different types of mutants to use in their experiments. So for those reasons, this model plant uh, is one that uh, is used in, by biologists today and presumably it's the reason why uh, this plant was selected uh, to be used uh, in these experiments. Uh, Arabidopsis is also a plant that is not too far removed from uh, plants that people eat. It's related to cauliflower and broccoli and Brussels sprouts and mustard. So it is a, a plant that potentially has a connection uh, to humans in a way that uh, perhaps you might not imagine. It's normally thought of as a weed, but in fact its genetics and genes are very close to plants that we uh, normally consume.